Real quick, these are the Toyota Tundra front seat jackers from DesertDesert.com. Real simple install. They're rear seat bolts on my Tundra. These ones, you're just gonna loosen them up. There's one here, one right here. These covers just pop off. There's a little clip right here, they just pop off. You're gonna take the front bolts out completely and the seat just rocks back. Um, let me uninstall this. This is the actual seat checker. It's got a dowel pin in it to line it up and it comes with the hardware. So, dowel pin goes in here and this started by hand. Um, and then, I'm just going to snug that up, like, like so, so you can kind of see that line up right there. And what these do is, well, so you can torque them to 27 foot pounds. Tools needed, you need a 14 millimeter uh, socket. And this is a uh, Torx number eight. Um, and then a torque wrench for 27 foot pounds to torque the bolts down because it is aluminum. But what it does is it puts a spacer in there. So the front of your seat can be raised up more. When you do that, your angle of your legs is more, way more comfortable because you're more stretched out. Um, it's hard to explain. I saw it in a buddy's forerunner and I sat in it and it was so much more comfortable because your legs can stretch out more. Um, that's why I went with it. So, so once you get these in, you're going to torque them to 27 foot pounds and my torque wrench set to 27. Put this on here. All right. So five, seven, Same with this side. Try to do it one handed here. Clean out all your french fries under the seat. There we go. It is aluminum, so you don't want to overdo it. And then they do give you new bolts for this part. And what you want to do is kind of lean it up and just start them by hand three or four rotations. They changed. The hardware they give you, they changed it to a 15 millimeter. Yep. I'm just gonna snug it up a little bit with this. Pause your YouTube video if you want to see the instructions. But they do make a uh, front bracket that goes in between here. See, they have the bolt holes for it. They make a bracket where you put a fire extinguisher. They sell a quick release fire extinguisher, a uh, gun holster, uh, molly panel, whatever you need um, right there. But uh, you can add it later. I just want to try this first. And then the rear bolts, the rear bolts are, uh, let me move this forward. The rear bolts are non-aluminum, so it's steel going into the steel chassis. And uh, you can just snug those up with your, uh, snug those up with the air hammer or impact.
nuts. You see my little red, little red lights. That's probably the harness. Give it some room in there. For your heater vent. All right, I'll pop these things back on. Click. That's it. Look how much more room I got under my seat too. Now I'm not gonna ride that high, but I normally ride with my seat all the way back and then because the crew max has so much room. And then I press the down one to get the angle all the way down. And then this adjustment right here is basically on crack now. As you can take this, this adjustment for the front of the seat and it's way higher now. So I'm gonna start with it all the way down and kind of adjust it up as I need it. That's basically the install. This is with it all the way down now. A little bit more room for storage, but uh, that's it. Uh, like and follow for um, more Tundra stuff. Coming up, I have a table holder for the front runner roof rack. I'm gonna mount a table, um, probably right on this side or on the other side where I have the max tracks. Um, mounted table up there it slides underneath the rack um, for easy access what else we got um, we're gonna have some max tracks or some action tracks installed and finally there was something one other thing I got coming but we'll start with this